Good evening, Shabbos to you. I hope you're all well. Happy Friday, everybody. Hope your friends and family in Israel are safe and well. Let's Amazing. start with Mazel Tov. Mazel Tov. Mazel Tov to Annabelle and Scott Simons on Eton's Bar Mitzvah. Mazel Tov. To Jonathan Taylor on the engagement of his son, Eyal, to Orlain. Mazel Tov. To Helena and Kenneth Friedman on their grandson, Eli's Bar Mitzvah. Mazel Tov. And to, any, and to Simone and David Waterman on the birth of a grandson. Mazel Tov. And to anyone who has a birthday anniversary or any other simcha in the coming week. Mazel Tov. We wish Rafur Shlema to anyone who's unwell. And we wish long life to anyone observing a yacht site in the coming week. Yes, uh, shout outs this week. So I think Mizrahi, the Mizrahi weekend, oh, yeah, I think was that? really Fantastic. incredible. Fantastic yeah. weekend of inspiration over Shabbos. And on we Sunday, we had 100 people come and hear some incredible, incredible speakers. Really inspiring, uplifting. Uh, it was lovely to see everybody there. Uh, some special birthdays as well. Yeah, special birthday to Dan Miller his, for his 40th. Happy Ooh, birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> I'm allowed to say it, right? And a, and a happy birthday to Paula Cass on her special birthday. Happy birthday, Paula. Um, and also a shout out to the BBM ladies who started mm-hmm. Beyond Bat Mitzvah this week. We had a great okay. session. Brilliant. Um, and a goodbye to my Club 12. It was oh, our last session this week. So if oh, anyone's yeah. interested for the next intake for your daughters, please do oh. contact the office and look forward to the next group. Excellent. Fine. Yes. Okay. So this week... Uh, Friday night, Shabbos begins. Early candle lighting in our community is at seven thirty. Mincha Kabbalat Shabbat and Marev at Crocsdale, Yavna, and in El Street, kindly hosted by family Asso, is at seven o'clock. Shabbos morning, Hashkama at Crocsdale, and Shabbos is at nine thirty. Uh, Yavna starting at nine fifteen with guest speaker Dr. Ari Gordon. There's also Shmakalim in the women's service yes, yes. at nine forty-five, yep, and Crocsdale. Mincha eight fifteen at Crocsdale, followed by Asuda again with guest speaker Dr. Ari Gordon. Lots of interesting talks going on there. And Marev and what Shabbos, when Shabbos ends is at ten oh one. Don't forget. Sunday is Lagba Omer, the 33rd day of the Omer. Uh, also, as a reminder, that podcast started this week, Psalm of the Day. If you'd like to sign up, you're not yet signed up. Psalm of the Day. Did you say Psalm? I know, I said Psalm. Psalm. <laughs> Psalm of the Day. Psalm of the Day. Psalm of the Day. I said it too many times now. Anyway, <laughs> POD, Podcast Psalm of the Day, has already started this week. If you'd like to sign up, please send me an email. That's Rabbi Chapa at Bournemouthshore.org. If you'd like to sign up for your daily two minute Verse of inspiration on new chapters to him, and um, looking a bit further ahead as well. The yeah, Shabbat lunch. 29th of June 2024 is the Yavna Lunch Community Lunch with guest speaker Rabbi Andrew Shaw, the CEO of Mizrahi UK. So please book soon. Yes, and that's 29th of June, did you say? 29th of June, yes, yeah, of June. yes we'll online for <laughs> children's that. entertainment and youth lunch table and program. Yes, excellent. Uh, and uh, any ideas, uh, thoughts for this week's Parsha? Yeah, a little thought for this week's Parsha. So the number seven has great significance in Judaism, and the seventh day is Shabbat, seven weeks after Pesach is Shavuot, the seventh year is Shemitah, and seven cycles of Shemitah precede the Jubilee. And if you've got any other sevens that you know of in Judaism, I can think of some other ones as well, then please do let us know. Seven let, ingredients let in know. colour. Seven ingredients in colour, yes. excellent. <laughs> um, and I'm not going to reference the Harry Potter sevens because that's not what we're talking about. Anyway, so great significance in Judaism. The Sefer HaChinuch explains that the number seven represents the cycle of completion in creation. And so Shabbat and Shemitah, which is called a Shabbat for the land, symbolises the principle that the world was brought into being as a new entity by Hashem. And by resting at these times from creative activity, we remember that the land does not grow by its own power, but through Hashem's will. So this concept is reinforced forced by the weekly and yearly counting of the seven as a constant reminder to trust in Hashem. Beautiful idea, really. Thank you. So have a wonderful seventh day of rest. Good Shabbos. Shabbos, Shabbos, Shabbos.